Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Barton Power Sports, Sportsman's Warehouse, and Best Care Home Services. Hey, good Saturday morning. Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on this uh, February the 11th, uh, second Saturday of the month, which means that uh, Ron Wong is in studio, and we've... uh, We've talked some fishing, haven't we, Ron? So, yeah, we have, and, uh, you know, there's a lot going on, though. Yeah. Uh, you know, in the Mid-South area, and, and yes, certainly I love to talk about fishing, but I'm also interested in all of the other outdoor activities that's going on in the Mid-South area, yeah. and of course, yeah. you know, we've got the National Bird Dog Championship coming up, and that's a huge deal. That, you know, that's kind of put uh, our area in the spotlight. Oh, for a long time, and I Absolutely. feel like this young man is, uh, he's still a young man according to me. I don't know how. And old. me. Yeah, I don't know, but uh, my good friend Steve Hurdle, when I became outdoor editor of the Commercial Appeal back in the late 80s, so that'll age Steve a little bit. He was a whippersnapper, so to speak, but uh, I'm proud of his accomplishments and uh, go back to a, a long way back, but uh, Steve has the remarkable assignment of having seven dogs nominated for the 118th run of the National Bird Dog Championship. We got Steve on the line with us. Steve, there is only one of you, isn't there? Uh, just me. Just me. <laughs> <laughs> well, talk to a little bit about uh, the the obstacles you're facing here with seven dogs nominated. Oh, we just it's a lot of work. It takes a lot of time. Uh, I'm, I'm blessed to have those seven dogs and the owners that, that go along with them yeah. because this business doesn't make it without those owners that support those dogs. Uh, you just, when you get up there to the drawing tonight, you know, we, we just hope that, uh, you get that lucky day, you get that break. Uh, you have to have the dogs ready and hope the a front's coming in, the birds <laughs> are moving or, you know, everything has to line up. You just have to have your dogs prepared and ready. Uh, you just you just gotta try to prepare for that situation when it comes. Because you don't uh, the number one obstacle is and you have no control over is the weather. And that's uh, right. And and so what's what's a good day that you would like to be uh, performing on? What kind of weather do you like? Well, you'd like the the afternoon before fronts coming in that night or or that morning. Uh-huh. Uh huh. You know, it just the game of move. Sometimes when a front's coming in, uh, that's that's normally the uh, best time to to draw if you you know if you're lucky enough. Yeah, and the lucky there you keep throwing that luck in there because uh, uh, l- let's lead up to where we are today with these seven dogs. Back in two thousand five, what happened to you? Well, it was 2006. Six, I okay. A, uh, uh, aorter aneurysm, yes. aorta grant aneurysm, and uh, that was we had just took and took the uh, last picture of the yes. 2006 national champion Shell Creek going, and I got up and I don't know, it was like somebody hit me in the back of the head with a hammer, and uh, it was. It was really dramatic. I mean, it's the, probably the worst thing I've ever been through in my life. Uh, but the good Lord's got a reason for me to be here or, or I wouldn't be here. That's right. And uh, airlifted to the hospital. How long were you in the hospital? 13 days. 13, 13 days in the days. hospital. Yep. So uh, mm-hmm. when you came out, was your determination to overcome this? Or, uh, were there times that you didn't? Uh, what was going to happen? Uh, how do you feel about it? This many years later, uh, eleven years later, with seven dogs in it, and all of a sudden, Steve Hurdle maybe shouldn't even be here. What do you think uh, as you go into these things? Well, I, I don't know. I, I just I, I, I've always been taught to work hard yes. in, in my life and do you know just keep going. Uh, I've had a lot of obstacles in my life and probably brought a lot of them on myself, but I've always tried to overcome and, and do the right thing. And uh, I've just, you know, it, it's, you just work hard at it. Yes. And, uh, I've been blessed. That, that's that's the main thing. Who who are some of the influences in your life, Steve, that have put helped you get to where you are? Well, uh, one one Hall of Famer, Mr. Hall Leeton yes, from right. Boonville, yeah. Mississippi. Yeah. Uh, 
Wayne Tate. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. From Moscow, Tennessee. Yeah. And I used to work for her on uh, yeah. Shooting Preserve, and Wayne and I worked dogs a lot together. And then uh, Mr. Faith Thronberry, yes. he's way back uh, there from Fishable. Well, uh, you folks remember the Thronberry. Like yeah. They've, you know, they've, they've, they've come dogs. around because uh, uh, you did some rodeoing, didn't you, or something? Uh, did, 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 or how How'd you get into this? Well, my family farmed there at Sladen. That's uh, what it was. And yeah. My dad and I, I rodeoed in high school. Yeah. And uh, went to the national finals in, in Montana and, and South Dakota back in 77 and 78. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. And got a scholarship, a uh, rodeo scholarship down to Northwest. And uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's just the way, it, uh, that's the way I got into that. And I got too old and fat for that. And uh, <laughs> I got the bird dogs. Well, you, you've really done so. Uh, let, let's talk about the seven dogs here, Steve. I know you got some, you know, some great owners from uh, Rick Stallings, uh, Doug Arthur, and Rachel Blackwell on there. I see Bob Wal- Walthall and uh, Thor- Thorpe McKenzie. All these uh, owners that you have, uh, seven dogs. Um, I don't want to put you on the spot, but uh, is there a national champion in one of these uh, seven dogs? Are, are they up to it? Oh yeah. Yeah, I've got a few in that bunch. They're they're, they're capable. Yeah, yeah, they are. Well, that's yeah, that's just just gotta get that right base. That, that, that's uh, a whole I've deal. I've got to work a lot between now and next week to keep them keep them worked. Uh, you know, I've been going to these trials and stuff, and been working them all along. But uh, you know, we just keep working every day and get try to prepare for whatever day that we draw. Well, that's and, the whole key. And tonight, it's like I said, it's a lot of luck in this, and it's, <laughs> you just got to prepare the dog and have it ready for that situation and draw that right course or that right day. Yeah, it does. And the bird's got to move. Yeah, so how old are you? I'm, I just turned 56, uh, January 20th. Oh, my. Now you are aging me now. So, I mean, you know, so, but uh, is the uh, is the anticipation still there? Butterflies, all these different kind of things when this thing starts and realizing what part of history you're playing? Oh, yeah, the anticipation. You know, when you don't when you don't get excited at what you're doing, if you're not competitive, I'm a very competitive person, I guess, is the main thing. Yes, but, you are, uh, yeah. It, you know, if, if you don't get excited over this, something's wrong with you. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know it, uh, but, I, I mean, I was just – I've been a competitive uh, all my life as a you kid are. on up, and yeah. you know you just wanna you just wanna uh, do your best at what you do, and and another thing, Larry, that that I, I want to mention is uh, without my wife and my family, yeah, yeah, supporting me, I couldn't do what I'm doing. No, no. So tell us about your family, your wife Karen, right? Right. All right. right. And how long y'all yeah. been married? Uh, we've been married uh, about 20 years this March. Wow. And have the kids? You got kids? Yeah, I've got Whitney, my youngest daughter, and uh, Stephanie, my oldest daughter, down in Louisiana. And then I have a stepdaughter, uh, Ashley, uh-huh. and stepdaughter, uh, uh, Anna. And all uh, the uh, your family's part is really important to you, I know. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. When you come to this. and that He has automatic uh, fans out there now because he can bring his family along and everything like that. But... Uh, all right, buddy, we want to wish you success, and uh, uh, you got a remarkable thing. I know there's some other guys out there with four. There's five setters and uh, all these different kind of things, and there's old uh, Larry Huffman, and there's Robin Gates and all those guys out there. And uh, But you've had the thrill of winning it. Let's, let's just make sure that uh, when we're on the Ames Manor steps and I'm out there, don't, don't Give me any nervous reactions, okay? Just be We're going to try not to. <laughs> okay, buddy. Appreciate you. Thank you. I'll see you out there, okay? All right, man. Thank you. Thank you, Steve Hurdle. Uh, aneurysm in 2006 on the steps of, of the Ames Manor House and airlifted to the hospital 13 days in the hospital. Didn't know if he was going to make it or not. And he's got seven dogs in, <laughs> in the national championship uh, out of 43. I, I, I just don't know how. And these are these are really athletes. I'm going to try to get Ron Wong out there too pretty soon. Uh, get well, if they've there. got some water, I'll go. Yeah, well, <laughs> water. Yeah, they got plenty in there where we eat. Not the kind you drink. Oh, okay. I, I need that too, but you know what I'm talking. about. Let me about. tell you what. Before we move on, take a break here real quick. Uh, 
next weekend. I mean, we're 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 heading toward the the fifty fourth annual Mid South Sports and Boat Show. Hard to believe it's coming up on the seventeenth, eighteenth, oh, and nineteenth. That's 19th. right. It sure is. Yeah, it's coming up, Ron, and you're on the seminar list. Hey, out come there. on out and see me. Yeah, uh, I'm going to yeah. be talking. Springtime fishing, uh, bass fishing. One, one o'clock on Saturday, you'll see Ron out there. At one o'clock on Saturday and six p.m. on Friday, the showstopper Ron Wong will be hey, out there. And if you come in, uh, we're going to be giving door prizes too. Yeah, anybody need a door out there? We're going to be giving yeah, some away. That's right. Yeah, Ron's got a couple of old doors he wants to give away, but uh, that is coming up next weekend. Uh, a lot of things, as Ron said, and of course the a bird lot of dogs. great ser- seminars there. Uh, Go see our friend David Best with uh, David will Mid-South be there. Tackle yeah, and, yeah. Uh, David will be there. Isn't Big Jim Napier going to be Jim's there coming. too? Yeah, yep, Big yep. Jim, Tommy the Toad, Collie will be there. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's uh, hey, it's, it's great times. Come on out. There's a lot to do uh, for the whole family. Yeah, and uh, a lot of bargains to be had. A also. lot of bargains. I'm uh, I'm assuming that Peanut will be there. Peanut will be there. Okay, yes, uh-huh. Peanut will be there. And, and he's going to have some bargains there. He's going to have a $1 table. Where, oh, come on. Yeah, there's a lot of lures he's going to have on a table. Did you there. hear that? $1 a package. Peanut craft lures, a yep. dollar. Man, yep. I, I was in there the other day at, at Bass Pro, the existing store, talking to Michael Alvarado, mm-hmm. and I was looking at some of those lures. Thirteen ninety five for a lure. Fifteen ninety five. That's kind of cheap. It is Oh man! Yeah, because the, you know. Uh, so the, what's the, the most normal, expensive lure you've got? Mm, I've got one that's about a hundred and forty dollars. Uh, <laughs> <a swim bag. laughs> um, lots of them that run twenty five to thirty dollars a piece. Okay. Um, okay but right. but you, you know you got to use what you got to use. You got to use. However, what you, you know there again. You know, you think about it, your average price of a crankbait now. Uh-huh. What is it? Average price. What do you think it is? What is it? It's 7 to $8. Is it really? Yes. Wow. Uh, for a spinnerbait, where we used to wait for spring fishing shows uh, for a dollar and a quarter, dollar and a half a piece. Yeah. Five bucks. Five bucks. Somebody's Times been, have changed. Times have changed, Ron, and we're still around. All right, let's take a break. Be right back. We're going to talk about a project that's going over uh, the Tennessee Aquarium at the University of Georgia. It's a pretty neat thing. It's going to talk a lot about Pickwick on Outdoors with Larry Ray on this uh, February the 11th, 2017. You can find 